Hey guys. Um, I'm not in my room today. Yeah. I'm in my living room because my room is in the process of being repainted, so I won't be up there for a while. But before I get into the video, I wanted to show you guys my little puppy, Sandy. There she is. She's a toy poodle. She's four now. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, it's February. Yeah, a lot happens for me. My birthday, February 10th. I'm now 14. Yay. And a not so happy thing. This is the month my eating disorder started. So for four years now, I have been professionally diagnosed with an eating disorder. Yeah. Four years. It sucks. But anyways, um, I'm currently in IOP and, you know, I'm not really loving the program. It's, the dietitian is new, like she just got out of college new, and I don't think she really understands the meal plan. Because I always feel like I'm eating over my meal plan, like I'm having like four grains and I only need to have three. It's just really stressful. And the program's just like, it's too uptight. Like, group, 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 group. That's all we do. They don't give us like any time in between to just talk to each other. We just have to talk about this. And sometimes we don't always want to talk about this. So, you know. But I'm on maintenance still. And I now have my running privileges back. Yeah. I can go every other day for 30 minutes. Yeah. But I'm really like only going to go on the weekend or when I have a lot of time because it's freezing cold outside. And I have IOP on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday so I can't go Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And it's freezing cold outside and I hate the treadmill. <laughs> but, I don't know, I'm just really scared that now that I have it back, it's just going to become like an obsession again, like it was. And I don't want that to happen because it was just really stressful and I don't want to have to go back into inpatient. But, I don't know what's going to happen. So, if any of you have been in this situation where you just had your eating disorder for another year and you don't know what to think of it, or you just got your exercise privileges back and you're scared that you're going to become obsessed with it again, um, please comment down below on how you dealt with this because I don't really know how I should deal with it. Bye, you guys.